Are you guys ready? I'm so excited for this. So this is going to be a spoiler video. I will have each little piece unboxing for TikTok and Instagram, so I will make sure to link those below if you guys want to follow day by day. Um, I had COVID, so I'm a few days late, so please forgive me. Um, I'm so excited. Okay, let's get into it. All right, so you have a countdown book. Oh, okay. Stop it. <laughs> They're little clues. Oh my gosh, when I do the... Okay, I'm gonna have to see if these actually line up with the individual days, because um, that would be awesome. And then it's like a little like teaser for what's coming. So they give you a little box of stickers, which if you know me from previous, I used to sell stickers for Erin Condren. Throwback. Eek, I'm so excited. Let me zoom you out a little bit. Okay, we ready? Oh my goodness. Okay, so everything is labeled, thankfully. So this is number one. That's, that's a big number one. So I'm gonna push this box back and we're gonna go over number one. Again, spoiler alert. All right, number one. First, a library of voices passed and whispers heard without a sound. On dusty shelves, there lies a maze Release their souls from pages bound. Okay. Ooh, it's squishy. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, this tissue paper is so cute. Anyway, so it is a stamper holder. So I wonder if there is some stamping plates in this. And has that nice little clasp, it has the logo. And this would be good, so if you know me, I like to store everything in my drawers. So this would be a very easy look to see that this would be Halloween plates. So that is day number one. Day number two right in front of my face. All right, number two. A living room, not for the living, Though nicely furnished, nonetheless, no bowls of tricks or treats for giving. Just party games for ghostly guests. Number two is a stamping plate of some kind. This is like a Ouija board. I'm gonna zoom you in too far. Okay, obsessed with, look at that. Okay, I gotta bring you up. Okay, look at that. Obsessed. Obsessed. I love these clouds. I think these would be super cute. Oh, and these ones have like little, look at the sun. Sun with a little skull in it. Celestial Halloween, is that the right word for it? All right, let's find number three in front of me. In the attic with creaking floors, antique cabinets, and a chest of drawers, candles, potion, tortured dolls, stuck with pins, and symbols scrawled. Number three, stamping polish. Let's see. Stop, okay. Do we see this? Look at this. This is literally the most perfect stamping polish for number two. If you haven't seen day number two, go look, or if you're in this video, rewind. Look at that. Has that holographic, and it is B444. Look 
at this. Okay, I will go ahead and let that dry. All right, let's find num number four is right here. Behind a door with rusted locks, a woman weeps with desperate knocks. Through the keyhole, take a peek, an empty room is all you'll see. You guys know I love a good theme. And it is. Okay. So you have this. Do we see that? I love it. Nailed it. Has that same design. And I actually don't have a round one from Maniology. I have their square one. So this I'm really excited for. Go for number stamping plate. Number five, the hallway closet holds nothing strange, just leather coats neatly arranged. Pull back the fleshy cloak to find the fractured remains left behind. Number five, okay. These are so creepy. You see the little skulls and bones? Okay, there's flowers behind this one. Do we see that? Please focus. There's flowers, little hands, centipede it looks like. It's probably a snake and not a centipede. I still like that it's girly. Okay, let's find number six. Is that six? Did I open nine? That's a six. Was six two of them, right? Am I, I'm not missing that one, right? The sticker was upside down. Uh-oh. Number six. Drip, drop, drip, drip. The washroom tap begins to flood. Undress yourself and take a dip in the bathtub filled with blood. So let's open number six. Ooh, a pinching tool. You guys know I always use a pinching tool. Um, I think these things are great because I hate, hate wide nails. And ooh, that's nice. That has a nice firm firmness to it. And then you also have your, ooh, out of focus. You also have your scraping. So you can scrape back and then get under your nails with that guy. All right, number seven is a stamping plate. Number seven, have you met the residents? My, how could we forget? Let's make our introductions to the family and their pets. Does that mean this is gonna be maybe creepy cats? Because I think of cats when I think of Halloween. Okay, so we have little ghosts. Ooh, I kind of like those guys. They're like dripping. And that brick. So I guessed wrong, clearly. But you can see all of these. I really like these ghosts. I think they're gonna be so cute. Okay, these are little. <gasps> okay, so you can put the eyes on the ghosts. Okay, that's cute. Okay, let's actually find number eight now. Eight is that. A doll encased on the wall. Such a lovely sight. But little do you know of its ghostly fright. Watch carefully as it changes into the faces feature, into the faceless feature peeling away to form a ghostly creature. So these are little nail protectors. So this is good. Ooh, okay, so they give you three. Is you stretch them. Actually, these would have been great for this tutorial that I did. Um, and you put your nail, it goes like that. And you literally just stretch it around where your cuticles are. Hidden deep within the cellar, a makeshift surgical device, a row of rust metal tools made to mutilate and slice. That's creepy. So is this gonna be like a red color? What do we think? 
another hollow, or not hollow, um, I mean, I guess hollow. It's, it's like that, I would say rainbow, but I'm excited. Look at that. I'm so excited for these. We're getting low, so we can find 10 pretty easily. Okay, is this gonna be spiders? 10. Spiders crawling everywhere, climbing up your arms, legs, and cobwebs, tangled in your hair, and sacks of hatching widow eggs. Ooh. So, ooh, it's all spiders. Although I like those webs. They are still very girly, and I kind of actually really like that. There's a Black Widow. How cute would it be to put a diamond on that? Okay. Ugh, they creep me out. Give me the heebie-jeebies. Okay, that's cool. That would be cool to do a multicolor, or I could honestly just do it in white and then just paint that green. And I like the little stars. Okay. I have an idea for this one. So actually, I really like that one, even though I have like the creepy crawlies going through my body right now. Last couple, since those say 10, 13, 11. Something restless in the shadows, eyes reflecting with a flash. It growls and lunges closer now. It's time to make a dash. So this must be flash powder. Yes, it is flash powder. If you've been with me, you know that my cameras cannot do it. It's so glittery in real life, but I don't know if it's gonna show because it's number 12. Scurry up the basement stairs. Oh, what could happen next? When suddenly a witch appears and casts a wicked hex. Witch usually means purple, so I'm gonna guess this is a purple. Ooh, okay, that purple's real pretty. Again, that colorful. So Last but not least, lucky number 13. How kind of you to join us. I knew I smelled a rat when a big black puff of smoke, she morphs into a cat. Okay, I'm gonna go cats and rats. <laughs> okay, I'm obsessed with cats, so I'm here for it. Look at that. Little cat ghost. Ooh, and I like that one too. They're all so cute. All right, these are all the goodies. I will make sure to link everything down below when the boxes go live, my discount code. Um, so I wanna thank Maniology for sending these to me because because I'm so excited to play with them over the Halloween season. I already have like a whole bunch of stuff going through my head. And I really liked this kind of moon star one because I think that can be used all year round. So I like that everything is definitely Halloween, but there are pieces that you can use all year round, especially the stamping polishes. And then these guys, cause you know, just because it has a Halloween thing doesn't mean you can't use it year round. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the unboxing with me. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye.